Hello and welcome to the Pro Tipster Football Podcast. We're back with another combined 11 and this week we're taking a look at the championship. So the biggest match of the championship is happening on Friday night. Uh, Derby County are taking on Bristol City. I'm joined by Pro Tipster Martin and we're going to have a look at both squads and pick our best starting 11. The rules are simple. We can't pick any injured or suspended players. And Martin, what formation are we going with? We're going to go with a 4-4-2, uh, go with a basic formation. I think actually most, both of the sides more often than not play a 4-4-1-1, but a 4-4-2 is alright. Yeah, no, it's the same thing really, isn't it, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, this, this was, uh, I, I better say as well, um, check out the video version of this. It'll be up on YouTube and on our Facebook page as well, and you'll be able to see the formation. And uh, the team shirts or the team and the players as we add them uh, to the graphic as well. So have a look at that because it's it's uh, it's a cool little thing, you know. Uh, especially for all the football hipster nerds who like their uh, tactical graphs and all that as well. I suppose if you'd like to get in touch with us, uh, probably the easiest way is getting us through our Facebook page. Uh, have a look for Pro Tips the UK, and um, we're all we all. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, we all tend to that page. Or you can get us on Twitter, I'm Pro Tipster Pod. Martin, where are you? You can find me at Pro Tipster ENG on Twitter and Pro Tipster Martin on Facebook. Magic. And we'll, we'll give those out at the end as well. So let's get cracking on this one. This one <laughs> was kind of tough, Martin, wasn't it? It wasn't easy, let me tell you. I love watching championship football, don't get me wrong, but knowing ins and outs of every team is isn't easy. Yeah, I'm the same. Like I, I, I do watch as much championship uh, as as I can. I, I would prefer it. I, I'd actually watch championship before I'd watch like even La Liga or, or French. Well, French football, of course, you'd rather watch championship. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a, a mad one as well. And there's a lot of injuries, especially for for Bristol. I thought like you know, first when you suggested this, it was like, ah, oh, Bristol. Oh yeah, there'll be loads of them. <laughs> and then when I went looking into the results, like they've lost, was they lost the last five in a row? Five in a row. Okay, one of them was Man City, so we'll give them that. But yeah, they've lost five in a row. The last time they won was two 0 against Reading, and uh, yeah, they yeah. had loads of injuries as well. So it was it was tough enough. <clears throat> the, wheel, the wheels are in danger of falling off of Bristol City, unfortunately. Um, whereas Derby, they're flying. Absolutely yeah, yeah, flying. they've 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 come good. I don't think they started off that well, but they they've come. Yeah. They have come good. Uh, sure. Let's just start then. Well, we have agreed on our on our um on our goalkeeper anyway. Yes, I think you can only choose one man. It's Scott Carson. Uh, field, fielding's decent for Bristol City, but um, you know, he's a Champions League winner, so you can't you can't dismiss that fact. Exactly, <laughs> Champions League winner at Liverpool, Super Cup winner as well. <laughs> uh, I had totally forgotten that he played for Liverpool. <laughs> I mean, he didn't didn't cover himself in glory there, or no. or for England. I think he no. he messed up when Croatia knocked us out of the Euros. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that was him, wasn't it? Qualifier. Yeah, Wally with a brolly, Steve McLaren. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. in golf that game, I think. That's right. Yeah, but he had. Um, you know, I was looking him up there on 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 Soccerway. Soccerway is a great resource for resource for looking up players, and he's just bags and bags of experience. And as what I found as well, he has um, is it forty something, forty three percent clean sheets. So, so thirteen clean sheets. Uh, this season, so I know I know he's he's behind a, a couple of good defenders there, but you, you know you can't you can't turn your nose up at thirteen clean sheets in the championship. Exactly, Fielding used to be ex Derby as well, so there's a reason they got rid of him. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he's Fielding is a decent goalkeeper, but when you compare the two, like you say, clean sheets etc. I think Scott Carson's done wonders this season, and he looks settled now. He's at a club where he's settled down, probably at the peak of his career, so. Um, I hope they get. I hope they he gets them promoted. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd like to see them, see them back again. You know, they're they're a good team. Plus, maybe they'll. There's a bit of an. I'm Irish just saying, maybe they'll. Yeah, go ahead. They'll get sorry. better than their. <clears throat> I'm just saying, maybe they'll get better than their 11 points that they got last time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. There is a bit of an Irish connection there as well. That's why I'd like to see them do well. Uh, Richard Kill and uh, Pierce. Oh, yeah. Are there? Uh, they had a couple of others as well, but they, they've since left. Although, although, are the Bristol City have have an Irish uh, young fella, Callum O'Dowd. Uh, he's he's really yeah. good, but he's injured. So he's injured. Yeah, yeah, he's a great. Player. He's played a couple of internationals uh, there, and he, he was he was very good. He really stood out. Uh, so he's one for the future. Uh, let's go to our defence there. I think we've only really agreed on one here. Yeah. Okay. Give me yours first, then. Right, right back. I've got Andre Wisdom. 
Um, no, I haven't. I've got Brett. <laughs> I had Andre Wisdom. Uh, I've got Bailey Wright at uh, right back. Uh, I've got Curtis Davis uh, in the middle with Nathan Baker. And then I've got Joe Bryan uh, at left back. Um, Bradley Wright. Uh, Bradley Wright. I'm thinking of Bradley Johnson there. Bailey Wright. Bristol City captain. Um, he's got he's got a little bit of a knock, so he is a little bit of a doubt for Friday's game. However, he's not been ruled out yet, so by virtue of our rules, he's still in for a chance of playing, so that's why he's going in for me. Um, it, it, he's just been consistent this season. You know, um, I don't think Andre Wisdom and Chris Baird for Derby have played enough to be considered at right back. Um, and yeah, I think he's, he's played every, um, played most, game, most games this season, and, and they signed him from Preston. And they got an absolute bargain. I think, I think the fee was undisclosed, but I think they probably paid about half a million for him. Oh, nice. And yeah, mm-hmm. Bailey Wright's just been unbelievable this season for me. So he gets my right back berth. Um, Curtis Davis in the middle. I, I can't say any, any, I can't say too much about Curtis Davis apart from the fact that he's rock solid this season. I don't think there's many better in the league, to be honest. Played every minute of every single league game. Um, and alongside him, Nathan Baker, for me, I think he's been really decent since since moving from Aston Villa. Um, and the other consideration I had at centre-back is who you've gone for, actually. So we'll, we'll be interested to see your argument with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think Nathan Baker's been pretty solid at the back for, for Bristol City when he's played. And then left-back, Joe Bryan, for me. You know, he's one of their own. He's come through the youth ranks. And he actually, statistically, uh, on, on whoscored.com, he got... Uh, the best left back in the league last season, and he's continued that on this season. Um, scored against United as well, so you know I don't I don't think there's many many better left backs out there at the moment. So that's... <laughs> well, my arguments aren't going to stand up to those uh, <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, I, I've gone for Andre Wisdom, but uh, what what you said there for for Bailey Wright? Yeah, I'm just going to have to give it to you straight away. Wisdom's all right, but. <clears throat> You know, maybe it's just because because he used to play for Liverpool that I have a bit of a soft spot for him. <laughs> he ha- he hasn't played many games. He's only played fourteen games so far. Mm. What did you say? Bailey has played. Uh, or Wright has played twenty four, so he's played every game. He's featured in all their uh, Carabao Cup exploits as well. So I'm going to give you what that one straight away, Martin. <clears throat> Curtis Davis, yeah, man, we're, we're definitely agreed on that. I think uh, I think he's a really good player. Um, he's solid as a rock. Uh, if he comes, if if they do come back up, he'll be one of their uh, uh, one of their strongest players. Same, he, he has a good partnership with uh, with uh, uh, Richie Kyo, uh, the Irish international as well. Although he's kind of fallen yes. fallen out of favour with Martin O'Neill, um, uh, because uh, what's his name, the Brighton player, has taken his uh, spot. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Brighton player, he's from Derry. Uh, what's his name? Oh no, that's the Duffy. Uh, Duffy, yeah, Shane Duffy, of course, yeah, yeah. So Shane Duffy and Kieran <laughs> Clark are the, are the preferred, uh, duo. Although Kyo, Kyo had played a lot, uh, at the start of O'Neill's reign and he had come in under Trapatoni. Yeah. But anyway, he, no, um, I like Kyo, but he, 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 he never, he never scores. So that's why, uh, that's, that's why I left him out. And, and, inst- and, and so I actually put in, uh, Aiden Flint there. Because, uh, based on his, uh, goal scoring stats, I wanted to put him in. He scored, he scored six times in, in 23 league games. So, mm. or scored six times in 23 appearances, I mean. So, just, just to give the defense, uh, a bit of a goal scoring threat, uh, you know, in those, he, he scored that, that, he scored a brilliant goal against, um, against, uh, against, uh, Man United when they played. <clears throat> In the Carabao Cup as well, so I mean, I think he's a class player, um, from what I've seen of him anyway. And then, uh, my left back, to be honest, I only went for this because he's got a cool name, uh, Hodor. Uh, <laughs> he's from Iceland, Hodor, like the character from, uh, Game of Thrones. I think it's, it's Hodor, H-O-R, is it a D? It's that funny Icelandic Hodor. letter. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, it is Hodor. H-O-R-D, but it's the funny D with the funny thing over on top of it. It looks like an O with a squeaky. Anyway, I'm rambling here. <laughs> so his name, I'm going to give it a go. Hodor Bjorgvin Magnusson. I mean, that's awesome. You know? <laughs> and, it's a pretty uh, cool name. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to have a bit of uh, Scandinavian uh, flavor in there. <laughs> But yeah, to be honest, he he's okay. He's uh he's had two seasons there at Bristol, um eight appearances, uh, uh sorry, twelve 
Uh, 12 appearances so far this season. No goals. Doesn't get carded, so that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, doesn't score. 28 times uh, last season, only scored one goal. He was only booked once as well. But mo- but mostly he'd, he'd been playing in Serie B before that. So mm. I wonder if they do come up, how he'll get on in the Premier League. Because Serie B, I mean, as much as I, lo- I do actually watch a bit of Serie B, it's quite a slow league. I, I, I wonder how would he get on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not even... His only defense is he has a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think so. so I, I, yeah, okay. I, I'll definitely give you uh, Bailey Wright, uh, Curtis Davis, and uh, um, you went for Brian as well. Uh, but yeah. uh, but I gotta I'll make a good defense of Flint, man. You gotta give me Flint. <clears throat> I think his gifts as well do it for you. His <laughs> gifts are amazing when he scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, if, if listeners, if you don't know by now, you, you probably do, but check out Bristol City's, uh, just follow them on Twitter and, 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 and keep an eye on them on Saturday afternoons. Or, well, this one be Friday night, uh, when they score, because their gifts are, the gifts are just amazing. Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Uh, right Jeez. then, so that uh, let's just confirm that then. So our keeper is Scott Carson. Our defense is uh, Wright, Davis, uh, Flint, and Brian. Let's move on to midfield then, Martin. <clears throat> Right, on the right, I've got Jamie Patterson. Um, although he probably primarily plays on the left, or more often than not, but um, kind of right wing for me, just because of who I've picked on the left. Um, and five goals, seven assists this season, you know. Uh, I just couldn't I couldn't um, dismiss Patterson at right, right wing. Um, I think he's... You know, he used to be at Forest. I think he's kind of grown up since he's moved um, moved from Forest as well. But he did. He's also missed a. You know, he scored. Like I say he scored five and seven assists. He missed a month as well. Don't forget the season he fell ill. Um, I don't know what I don't know what illness he had actually, but he lost about five kilograms. And he was actually pretty 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 bad way. Um, but now he's back. He took him probably a month or so to get going once he come back. But now I think he's in probably the best form of his career right now. So that's what I've gone for at right wing. In the middle, gone for Bradley Johnson and Tom Huddleston. Um, I mean, you know what you get with those two. Um, both been around for ages. Bradley Johnson um, loves to put himself about a bit. He does pick up the odd card. He's a bit of a feisty character, but that's what you need in the middle of the park. Um, and they've only actually lost once since September when he's actually played. Um, and, you know, he's good for the odd goal as well. Tom Huddleston in the middle... Um, he's only missed one game so far for Derby. I think he's actually probably been one of the biggest parts um, of the team, like in terms of where they are this season. You know, he can hold up the play, he can tackle, amazing pass with the ball, as we all saw, you know, in his early days at Spurs. Um, and I think at his age, he's, he's coming into his peak as well. And you know, he's like I say, he's a big part of where Derby are right now. Um, and on the left. I had to put Patterson on the right because on the left I've gone for Tom Lawrence, the young Welsh lad that used to be at United. Um, you know, he's played 21 games this season. He's been out on loan a lot, but he's come back, matured. I think he's like 20, he's just turned 24, I think. Um, he's got seven assists already this season and he's only completed 11 games, uh, which is pretty impressive. And yeah, I just find him exciting to watch. I think, um, I think he's got a great career ahead of him. Um, and especially for Wales as well. He's just broke into the Welsh side. And yeah, that is my left winger. Right, wait till you hear my uh, motley crew here. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely with you with Bradley Johnson. I think, I think he's a class, class act. <clears throat> he's brought a lot to the team. And uh, mm. yeah, no, I definitely he's got to be, you know, he, you know, it's not old cliche. He he would have to be one of the first names down there for 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 the boss man there. Uh, so I'd have him for sure. I I wanted to put Callum O'Dowd in because I, I really like him. I think he's a very good player, but he's injured. Yeah, I want to consider. Um, now I did go for. I have a derby attacker here that you've gone in the forward line. So I think we'll mention him in the forwards, mm. but well, I'll have to mention him now because he's not going to make my midfield, uh, cause he, he's a strange one. Sometimes he, he plays as, 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 as the false nine. Sometimes he's, he's a bit 
further back and somehow he's kind of all over the place he's given kind of free reign he's, he's, he's decent Mate mm. uh, Vry, Vrida is that how we pronounce his name v- Vrida Vrida Vidra Vidra, Vidra. Vidra. <clears throat> check fella um, he's alright he hasn't had anyway we'll, we'll get to him later um, so I had gone for uh, two uh, Bristol City lads uh, Marlon Pack I wasn't really sure about I uh, just put him in because I was just having too many derby players if I'm totally honest about him so I don't mind dropping him at all Martin uh, Josh Brownhill though uh, I like him uh, I've seen him a bit he's he's played uh, I think he's played every game he's 26 appearances for them uh, three uh, three goals uh, he's just a, a just a fast kid he's, he's 22 uh, mm-hmm. he, he chips in a lot he's you know all these cliches that I'm going to come out with now to sound like I know what I'm on about uh, <laughs> uh, I just <laughs> like him I just think he's good he he, he started off at Preston where he, he, he got plenty of games for the first couple of years and then he, he's been regular like since since he was signed at Bristol and um, he doesn't score enough for me. I'll definitely give you that. Like he, he only, he's only scored three times out of his twenty six mm. games when he sh- he should be chipping in more. But I suppose the things with, with Bristol they've had. Uh, where's my team gone now? They had a regular goal scorer, uh, the Sen- Senegalese striker uh, Diedhu, but he's out. He's on the way back. Uh, it would have been nice yeah. just to cl- include him because he's played thirteen times, five goals. Even uh, the the Bosnian player uh, Jorich. He's out as well. He he's okay, uh, although um, Jedu from from from, uh, from Senegal is far far and away better. He's a proper uh, striker. So uh, how are we gonna do this then? Uh, well, I I'm gonna give up one place anyway because I want to have the Czech fella in the team and, and you have him in 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 as a, in as a forward. Yeah. So we'll keep him. But uh, Bradley Johnson, we're agreed on. Ah, uh, Tom Huddleston. I don't know, man. He, I mean, just... he doesn't score a lot. Does I'll, he? I'll give you. I'll give. I'll give you. I'll give you Brownell. Uh, uh, Brownell over Huddleston. To be honest, um, I mean, no, he doesn't score enough. But I don't know. Like, it's tough. I guess you in the centre of the park. You know, I've got I've got Bradley Johnson and Tom Huddleston, who are both pretty defensive. Mm. Um, Whereas Brownhill will uh, push on a little bit more. All right, so um, let's go with that then. Let's go with, with Pat- Jamie Patterson, uh, Bradley Johnson, Josh Brownhill and Tom Lawrence. As you probably know, podcasts still grow by word of mouth. Show your support for the Pro Tipster Football Show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast. Or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes. So, uh, yeah, your forwards then. Tell us tell us a bit about about. Just check that out. So yeah, first of all, I've gone, I've gone for Ved, uh, Vidra, mm. Matej Vidra. Um, yeah, you put him on the left wing. I just think, I think he's better, maybe not as an out and out striker, but just as a, on a in a four four one one, just yeah. sitting behind, like the second striker, just behind uh, the main striker. He scored fifteen goals in twenty three games. Um, he's only he's only played ninety minutes in two two of those, so that's pretty impressive. Um, and yeah, you, we've all seen he kind of. He threatened it at Watford, where he looks like he could be an amazing player um, in the Premier League. And then, I don't know what happened with him. He, d- he just didn't seem to get a run of games after scoring a load of goals for Watford. Um, I thought he'd be a Premier League um, striker by now. Um, but, you know, he's showing, he's showing his worth in the Championship. I think they paid they paid like nine, nine and a half million for him as well, actually. So, you know, he's paying, he's paying back that money, especially if he gets him promoted. And I just can't see anyone else... You know, I've gone with Bobby Reed partnering him up top. Um, I can't consider, in my opinion, Nugent or Chris, the likes of Chris Martin. Nugent for me, he's only scored six goals and in comparison, he's not, not as good. Um, he's been about, you know, you know what you get with Nugent, but I think Vidra is a better player. Chris Martin's only got one goal. He's kind of, you know, he's had a good couple of seasons, but this season it hasn't happened for him. Uh, so I've gone with Bobby Reed. Uh, partner in Vidra up top. I, essentially player of the season, you know, Bobby Reed. He's had a great season. One of their own as well. Again, come through the youth system. 12 goals. Played every single game. Um, so for me, there's, you know, there's no argument. It's Vidra and Bobby Reed. I can't, honestly can't consider anyone else. No, no, you're dead right. I, I mean, I'd have, even though, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Soccer way that we're both using here. Even though they have, uh, Reed down as a, as a midfielder, he's, he's been brilliant. 
uh, since he came in as cover for uh, what was his name there? Die, 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 who? I, I, I don't know how to say his name. I'm, I'm sure he's listening. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's a Senegalese <laughs> name. I'm struggling here. So um, yeah, look, he's come in and and he's been brilliant, uh, a brilliant replacement for him. And uh, I wonder now when he comes back into the team. What uh, what uh, Lee Johnson's going to do to keep Reed in? Will he just play him behind mm. him, or or will he maybe try and force a four four two? But sure, we'll see in a couple of weeks. He should be back fairly soon in the next two or three weeks. So we we'll know then, Joe Rich, the Bosnian, he'll be a bit longer. And um, but yeah, no, you're right. Look, uh, I was looking up uh, videos as well of, of Vidra t- to to learn a bit more about him today. And yeah, he's 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 mm. class, isn't he? He's just a wily little fella. And uh, yeah, I hope he I hope he's kind of Hope he takes the next step on in his career now and, 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 and continues to do well because, uh, it just kind of looks like he kind of got a bit lost there for a couple of years, didn't know what he was doing and, and yeah, he could have slipped down the leagues just, easily, but maybe he just needed a, 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 a better kind of man manager. Maybe, maybe Rowett is, is doing that for him at, at Derby. We don't know, like. Possibly, uh, I mean. He could be, he could just be one of these strikers that are amazing at championship level, but just can't. You know, just aren't as yeah, good at yeah. Premier League level. Like, you know, Jordan Rhodes banged him in in the championship, went to the Premier League, did nothing. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I don't sure. know. David Nugent is, is like that. He's alright at that level. Well, he's, you know, Darryl Murphy's another one. You know, Darryl Murphy, buy him in your yeah. championship team, you'll do well, you get into the playoffs, maybe promoted, but like, there's no point in having him in your, in your Premier League team, because he just won't be good enough. Exactly. You know, so he's one of them. Uh, right then, so let's confirm the team then. So, uh, our keeper is, uh, Scott Carson, our, our defense, Betty Wright, uh, I've written Curtin Davis, Curtis Davis, uh, <laughs> Curtin Davis, Aiden Flint, and Joe, uh, Brian. We have, uh, Jamie Patterson, Bradley Johnson, Josh Brownhill, and Tom Lawrence make up our midfield. Our front two then are Bobby Reed and Mate Vidra. So that's our, uh, combined 11 for uh, Derby taking on Bristol City on Friday night in the Championship. Martin, have you looked at the odds or anything yet? Have I haven't yet, going? actually, but I think I'll, I will tomorrow, you know. Um, that, you know, that <clears throat> the updated press conferences and the team news will all be out. So it'll be interesting to, to look into that. But I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, I know Bristol City aren't in amazing form, but they're always hard to beat. And uh, for me on paper, I think... Derby might have the edge, but I'm excited to watch it. I'll certainly be watching it. The heads, the, head, the heads are good as well. I don't know if you, if you saw this. Uh, uh, the last six games between them, there have been 25, uh, 25 goals. So there oh, seems wow. to be. There's only been one, only only one of those has been under 2.5 as well. So yeah, Derby are just above evens. 2.07, 3.31 for the draw, 3.62 for for Bristol City. It's, it's a shame Bristol's run. It's kind of come to the way, to an end, I hope. I'd, I'd love to see them get back into the playoffs. The problem, though, Martin, is their squad is fairly thin. I know. And they've got, uh, obviously, an amazing cup run in the cup, which mm. helps as a club, but doesn't help as a squad because, yeah. um, you know, injuries left, right and centre. And it's a shame. I'd love to see Bristol City um, come up. But I, I, I think they will probably fall away. They might scrape a playoff place. Yeah. Um, but see how they do in the playoffs. But for me, this on Friday as well, the fact I said that Bailey Wright's got a little bit of a knock, I think he's having a scan today on an injury, so we'll see if he, he gets through that unscathed. If he doesn't, then, you know, uh, that's a big blow for Bristol City, to be honest. Yeah, just let me give you one of the odds. The <clears throat> based on what I was saying about the, the overs happening in five of the last mm. six, overs is priced at just above even, so it's 2.04. At the minute. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's alright, you know, especially with the historical kind of stats there. Mm. And what's the handicap? The handicap, is, what's the closest there? Uh, Derby minus 0.25 or 1.8. And uh, Bristol plus 0.25 or 2.06. So yeah, they're expecting it to be very close. Uh, anyway, so, um, Right then, Martin. That's that's it then for this uh, combined eleven podcast. Uh, tell us, remind us again then where you are on the internet. <clears throat> yeah, guys, come and say hello to me on Twitter at Pro Tips to ENG or on Facebook at Pro Tips to Martin. Good, and you can find me on Twitter at Pro Tips to Pod, or you can get in touch with all of us 
over on the Facebook page. Uh, go to Facebook and look for Pro Tipster UK. We we uh, we put out live videos. We're starting to do that, or we started a while ago. We're going to be putting uh, one or two out every day, maybe even three uh, once we're all back off holidays and all that. And uh, yeah, we'll be putting out football tips, NBA, NHL tips, uh, live videos. Uh, just just keep an eye on on the Facebook page there for notifications of when they'll be out. And, uh, yeah, we're also on YouTube as well. We put these podcasts out there. We'll, we'll be putting out uh, strategy videos, longer videos, more uh, educational about betting over on our YouTube channel. But, like, we're all over the Internet. Just have a search for Pro Tipster and you'll find us. And, uh, yeah, look, our website, it's class. Get over there. There's loads of great tipsters who are sharing their tips. And, you know, if you have got what it takes and you're a good tipster, get over there, share your tips. We'll, uh, we'll give you loads of pro tips or coins. And then when you have enough of them, you can convert them into cash and then you can spend that however you want. Um, what else is there to say? And if you're not good at tipping, yeah, just come over anyway and have a look because there's loads of people there who are good at tipping and, uh, they'll be able to point you in the right way of where games are going to go. Okay, I'll stop rambling then. So that's it for me and Martin. And we'll be back tomorrow with our normal uh, preview podcast for the weekend's action. We'll be joined by our Italian and Spanish pro tipsters as well. And uh, yeah, that's it then. Good luck. Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Our handles there are ProTipster Global or get in touch on Twitter, ProTipster E N or ProTipster I R L. Bye.